Hey everybody, Eric here from Urban Story Studio. And today I wanna to do something a little bit different from what I normally do, which is share work projects or tips and tricks that I've taught myself to solve work problems or to create work deliverables. This case, um, or this time, I wanna share with you just more of a personal project and how I use SketchUp and the same skill sets that I use for work projects, how I use them for something smaller and just every day around the house. So let's get into it. So here I've got a model of my master bedroom in my house. Let me turn off my section cuts. Maybe I'll do like an x-ray view or something like that so you can see in it. So pretty simple. You've got the room, a closet, and a bathroom. And what looks a little interesting here, if I do, let's say, which section cut? Maybe this section cut here. This kind of gives you an idea of of what I'm wanting to do. So I've got four schemes, one being existing and then two being proposed. And so what I'm wanting, sorry, three being proposed. What I wanted to do was basically look at, use SketchUp to look at this existing bathroom layout here that you see on the screen. And what would it be like if I were to remodel this? And so what I did was started with the plan view, pretty simple and I put an image in. This is just an image that I was able to get from documentation for my house. Maybe it was from a sales brochure or something. And um, so here we are in the owner's suite. What I'm really looking at is this owner's bath. And the problem is, is that we were hoping that there would be a bathtub when we came in. Now, in fact, our last place, the last two houses we had didn't have bathtubs uh, in the master suite. And so what we wanted to do is we had this tub from this tub specifically over here, bought this like clawfoot tub two years ago, never did anything with it, couldn't get it built because we moved. And so we moved this tub twice across two states. And I don't know, part of me just wants to give up on the project. And the other part of me says, maybe there's a way to make this work. So. I used this kind of opportunity as a way to ask myself, like, how could we make this work with the space that we're given now? So if I switch over to my color by tag mode, one thing I want to show you with just really quick how I set this model up, because we're going to go to layout in just a second. Um, again, this is a really high level conceptual package. This was just so I can get some, some quotes from some builders and they could tell me what's possible, what's not. And what I did is, again, I have four conditions and I have four colors. Blue being, if you look at my tags, blue being the existing conditions. So this is what's there now as it is. Uh, I've got option A, which is where we sort of reconfigure, put the tub in, but keep two vanities. And then option B here, the yellow, which is single vanity with the tub. And option C basically, and you'll see in just a second, is kind of the, I wanna say is the cheapest and easiest, maybe most feasible option, which is to put a tub where the shower is now. So that's how I've kind of organized my model. I basically put everything in all at once. And I didn't even bother separating out each of these tags. I do have an option A tag so I can see it, but I'm not too worried about these. These are just more like when I was working. So I could be able to kind of quickly see uh, the existing conditions, dual sink vanity, kind of boring, a wall that sort of separates uh, the water closet. Here I have this wall on its own group because instead of tagging it as demo, I could just hide it for a particular scene. So one of my options looks at taking this wall out. And then of course the other options look, one looks at, or I think two look at taking this vanity out. And then another option looks at taking out um, the actual shower enclosure. So this would be, um, depending on how which direction we go, we may keep this or we may say, nope, we're gonna redo that. So again, everything's kind of on its own group so I can toggle things on and off and I don't have a ton of layers, just one representing each of the, uh, if I turn them all on, just one representing each of the schemes. So that's the rationale. Again, I've got scenes saved, not to camera. Um, so I didn't save the camera. I don't really care about the camera. I'm just gonna cut some sections. And then I've got each of the options togged, toggled on by tag. Option C looks like existing. The difference is, is that it has a tub 
instead of a shower. So if I go between existing and option C, that's just put the tub in the shower. That means I can't use the coffee tub that I bought. So I don't like option C, but it's a possibility. Some of you aren't there thinking maybe like, well, do you really want to do all the plumbing and do you want to put a tub over here? Like for example, option A, do you really want to put a tub over there? You got to put it, maybe you can't even do that. Plumbing it would be easier to do it where the shower is. And I thought about it, but here's the problem. You see this right here? If you look close, if I can get out of the wall, here, I'm just going to zoom out. See this here? This tub happens to be, and get this, 66 inches across. Now assume that you get an inch on either side. We need about 68 inches to fit this thing. But this space, I just measured it again just now to double check to make sure I'm not losing my mind. It is, I'll show you right here, get it, drum roll. Look down at the corner, five foot five inches. It's 65 inches. I'm literally short by one inch if I was gonna make it fit too tight, but I'm short by about three inches if I was gonna do this proper. So which made me thought, that's where I kind of thought, well, maybe option A blows out this wall in between, this like water closet wall. Um, so if I turn the existing off, you can see now there's some advantages to this. Number one is it gives you that breathing room here. So I can sort of move this tub maybe almost like it's almost not quite centered, but um, under the window. Of course, you could always center the nozzle. So the nozzle, the nozzle is centered under the window, but the tub isn't. That's a preference. I don't know if it's what's better. It's not the point. The point is it's just a really quick exercise to see what's possible and how much it might cost if I were to get it costed. Here's the problem with taking that wall out is not so much that I mind. There's a lot of traditional bathrooms, especially older homes that have a bathtub and a toilet and they're not private, but here's the deal. Currently, as this house is set up, as it was designed and built, this has no door. So the door is to the water, to the toilet. The door is not to the bathroom itself. So if you were to blow out this wall, for example, and I take this out here, if I blow that wall out, it means that you probably need to come up with some door. Now, if you come up with, if you do a pocket door, that would be probably the best option. You could hide the pocket door in here, but here's the problem is this wall already contains the plumbing. So if I look at the existing, Sorry, this existing tag should stay on. Um, the plumbing is in here, which means that a pocket door may not work. You'd have to basically redo all the plumbing. It's gonna make it way more expensive. So here's a door here. Again, I'm kind of playing, I'm kind of in my mind, I'm talking through what my thought process is, but I'm also talking through how SketchUp helped me understand this, what my options are. So. So the door here is um, not great. It's not a great solution. If I can't do a pocket door, now I can do an actual door, door. We could put a door in there. Problem is, is where do you swing it? If you swing it open here, it interferes with the shower. If you swing it over here, it really blocks you because of the vanity. Um, you could swing it so it pulls out, so that the door opens out. Problem is, is the question is, do you want to have that door open all the time? Because if you don't, then all of a sudden you're closing the bathroom door and I don't know, there's a window in there. So it's like, it's gonna block that light and just visually makes the space look smaller if that door stays closed all the time. So that's why option A for me, I like option A because it puts the tub under the window. It keeps the dual vanity by keeping the tub um, parallel to this wall or perpendicular to sort of the travel of the room. It keeps the dual vanities and the shower stays as it is. Nothing wrong with it. Again, my wife wants a tub. We have a tub. We just need to decide if we can put it in this space. So option A shouldn't have this. Um, let's see, there we go. Okay, so that's option A. It doesn't have that wall. We blow it out and we figure out what to do about this door. Option B, and I'm gonna go through this a little bit quicker because some of this is repetitive. Option B says, well, if you turn, if you remove the vanity and there's already plumbing here, because there is, because there's a sink, then putting a tub here where the other sink was, probably not a bad idea. Problem is, is now you have a master bedroom with, or it's owner's bedroom now, they call it, with a single vanity. Again, older houses, not a big deal. Newer houses, do they expect it? I don't think so. I use the sink maybe for five minutes, maybe, you know, three times a week. I, this is my wife's sink. Uh, I don't care that much. There's other bathrooms in the house too. So what it does is it preserves the privacy on this door, uh, the water closet door. It keeps this door 
does it means that you don't have to have a door it stays open you get the tub your tub's kind of near the window so you get the light coming in so if you're taking a bath during the daytime or a sunday morning or something and it opens up this wall to do something interesting with this wall it's like have an art wall or something like that or a green wall leaves the shower alone save some money there put in a smaller vanity the only down spot down thing here is that it feels it could feel a little cramped because you got a lot going on in a small space and you have a single vanity those are two things like for resale value people may not like option c is don't do anything just literally put the tub and i'm going to talk about this because again i started by saying this is probably the most feasible probably what i'll end up doing which means i'll have to toss my cloffet tub that i've shipped two states just to put in like um like a fiberglass or or a tower shower tub combo um, okay, I want to stop there because because the point that I'm trying to make is that I I needed to work through each of these options in my head to really kind of understand the implications. I couldn't just look at it in plan view the way some people can. Maybe an interior designer, or someone who's been doing this for a long time, can sit here and say, "Hey, yeah, you know, here's the tub, here's this. It's three inches from this wall. My brain just is built for 3D, and it." It needs to do that. So that's the first part of this is just this design ex exploration that I've done here to build this model so that it's flexible. But the question is, what do we do with it? How do I share this? So here's where after I've saved everything, I send it over to layout. OK, so with my layout file open, I just want to kind of show you what I did here because I set up one page. But I wanted to show you why I set up this one page this way because I have four schemes. In this case, I set up the existing scheme first, which is basically what it looks like now. So in the SketchUp model, I had three, four scenes saved with section cuts. And so here, all I did was just copy this viewport and then come over here to the, let's see here, come over here to the scene and I could switch between section A, B, and C. And then of course this one is plan view. So it's not really a section technically, it's a plan, but it has a section cut. So that way you get that section fill um, to match the section fill from the elevations, the section elevations. So A, B, C. Um, again, these are some reference images. I don't know, I would normally place, I would have a page in my booklet if I was to do this as a contract proposal, I would put a little bit more information. I would have a page of inspirational imagery for each concept and I would probably come in here with at least the key dimensions like in this case 64 inches it's actually 60 should be 65 oh i don't think i snapped to that corner i was going to say i just said it's 65 and my tub is 66. so what i would do is come in here and just um you know put in some key dimensions maybe even put some labels if i was doing this i'm not actually going to send this proposal i was just kind of looking at it recently and thought oh this is kind of a nice little package so here you could come over and pick um, some different options. What I want to do is do maybe the, the face area for this. So it should be, let's see if I can pick face, face area. Uh, it's not working. That's OK, but that's a quick way to get square footage. Um, so I put you know some call outs and things like that. But I'm going to stop there. So from here, what I'm going to do is, because I have four schemes, you just duplicate this whole page. So for example, this is existing. The next one I'm going to call option A, and this is the one with the dual vanity. So I'm just going to put that in there so I remember. And I can select all holding shift really quickly, all of these viewports, and I just move over to, actually, I don't have to change the section cut. I want to, I'm going to leave the, the scenes alone. I did not create a scene. I don't need to. Here, all I need to do is come into my tags and I turn off the existing and I turn on option A. So there it is. Of course, if I don't like the black and white, I could always override the style and say something like color section. And then maybe the plan view reads better that way. I can either viewport clip this out or I can hide the wood floor if I wanted to. Actually, let's just do this. This is a good excuse to just come over here. I'm going to cover up that door, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Come over here and just do, I'm just gonna cover this up with a shape and just to give it a fill. So fill white and 
I would say stroke none. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe that doesn't work. It could. So if I wanted that, if I did think that worked, I would come back over to my existing. I could always come over here and override the style. So come back. So I have all these different sort of styles built in and I could either create a clipped viewport um, or I could just cover that up with a shape. I don't know. I think that looks okay for what I'm trying to do. So same thing, duplicate this, change it to option B. And this is the single vanity. So I'm just going to call it single so I know what it is. And same thing, click, 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 and come over here to my tag overrides. I'm going to override, I'm going to take all those other options, put option B on. Again, I would put call outs and I would measure some things and make this more robust. Maybe even have, um, again, a page. Oh, you know what I should do here? I could use auto text. I'm not going to. I, that would be for later. So this is option B. And this is going to be, we'll just call this tub and single vanity. Okay, you get the idea. Last one, I'm going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to wrap up because it is repetitive at this point. And you can see how quick, if you set up your model right, how quick it is to do this. And I'm just going to go into and put option C on. Of course, option C um, also needs to have the existing tag on because we're basically keeping all the existing things on. So it's everything that you see with the existing, except it also, it has the tub inlaid into the shower pan. So in this case, um, it'll look pretty much like the existing one. So this would be option C. And we're just going to do this, which is what integrated, what do you call that embedded? I don't know. I'm just going to call this tub shower combo. Tub shower combo, and that's it. So let's go through these one more time. Existing conditions, option A, option B, and in this case, I should give this a page name, option C, and this would be just combo. So I know what that is, option C, combo. All right, I'm gonna stop there because you get the idea. Again, Thanks for entertaining me while I kind of went back and looked at some of my personal files and how I leverage the same skills that I teach you here for your project work just for every day. I mean, I guess I guess that's the beauty of SketchUp and Layout and Photoshop is that you don't actually always have to have a paying client. You can just use it for something because you're curious or because it's fun or because you just want to measure something or you want to figure out how much square foot this wall is so I know how much paint to buy. That wall is being built in SketchUp in 30 seconds and grab that face area and now I've got a number. So I'm going to leave you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want notifications so that you get some updates, especially like when my live streams, live streams drop because sometimes I will come up with one and just do it short notice. So thank you all for watching, tuning in with me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Push back. I mean, tell me, is this are they all bad ideas? Uh, which option do you think um, would you go with or do you recommend? So I want to hear from you. We'll keep that conversation going there. Thanks.